Lagos election, Gautamaran sent message to Labour Party and Peter Obi after they saw some obedient injured. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly do. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Dr. Jeffrey Gutterman, a retired psychiatrist, has spoken out after seeing photos of Labour Party activists being attacked in Lagos and elsewhere in Nigeria. As a string of cases, including voter intimidation, suppression and ballot snatching, were reported in the governorship election that took place on March 8. It is no longer news that this election has been at the center of controversy. In response to the election process, Gorterman remarked that while he still had broken by the violence and intimidation that were unleashed during during the election, he's inspired and proud of obedience movement. He posted photos of injured Labour Party members and wrote, I am really proud of Peter Obi and the Labour Party and all the members and supporters. He declared his unwavering loyalty to Peter Obi, the Labour Party and obedience. In perpetuity, how we back Peter will be the Labour Party and every obedient. And these have got so many Nigerians talking. Let's hear what they have to say concerning this message. So we love you as obedient family. You are true state man. We obedient, we continue to pray to God for intervention in our Nigerian politics as we work hard to take back our country from corrupt politicians. God bless you, bro. We say. The only man standing that gets sense from Southwest, may your days be long. Tribalism went, won't let others see what you saw. They think evils are their problems. They keep electing their oppressors. Obedian did not tell you that they killed someone today in Okota, Lagos and labored him a talk. This is one-sided and expected from obedient who always claim the victim in every situation. The wickedness of man lives after them. We all shall surely reap that we, that which we have sown, be it good or evil, for God is no respecter of persons. God bless you, sir, for your concern. We shall overcome in Jesus' name. Amen. A new Nigeria will come, either they like it or not. Obedient movement is on top. That is why APC, we are taking them or, or tackling them, I mean to say. Yet the Commission of Police in Lagos will still urge that there are no violence cases in Lagos. God will judge all of them for concealing the truth. Ha! Thank God we caught you laughing at the rigging and violence and our supporters to rigging. Obedient did not kill the talk. If you watch that video well, it was police. I watched it. Obedient did not have any gun, so stop lying. I believe that one just reacted to one comment there. Peter will be pleased. Go and rest to enable your strategies for another time. Your successors had been there before they got the mandate. Don't lose focus. Got, get your party men across all the states and start to work now. There will be light at the end of the tunnel. If the light does not come now, it will never come again. Obi is here for good purpose and he must regain his mandate. These troubles happening now are signs that says nothing good comes easy. God is with us. It is a big shame to Nigeria has these stupid, useless, lazy Yorubas as turn elections to war. 
Hmm, that's harsh anyway. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. Well, the election has come and gone. That is how it happens. And those people who we are used as thugs, I believe by now they have, they have eaten the money. They have given to them. Or if the money big, where well, well, you know, past one week, Abby, you go finish. Don't be surprised that tomorrow they will, you will call them. They will never pick your call. Why? Because to them, you are a useless person. That is why they employ you to do that kind of a job. Go carry pilot bus. Go disrupt elections. Go disturb people. Do you know what your name is? Useless. That is how they look at you. That nothing good will come out from you. They will always use you for those kind of jobs. And when they are done using you, they are going to dump you. Because that is the only thing you are good of. That is the truth. And that money you have accepted, you have paid yourself for the good four years or eight years to come. And you go back to the street, you go and suffer. The world saw what happened in this election. Politicians do not want to let the power slip out from their hands. So they did whatever they could. They made sure that whatever they lay, they lay hands on this day, they will, in fact, we won't win this election. We will win this election and we must win the election. Whether by by force or whatever, we must get what we are looking for. Exactly what happened. But it's a big I will ask. The election supposed to be like that. Politics supposed to be a game. That is what they used to say. And if you lose, no problem. You can come back next time. If you win, good. But the process of winning and losing, how is it? That is the most important thing. You cannot tell me that you win in a wrong way and you want me to recognize you and you can never do anything, any, you can never do any right thing because you did not get your mandate at the right way. People always miss that. That is why in Nigeria, anything that happens, I beg, it no matter. I beg, make we live and like that. We are still suffering it today. Whatever you get in a wrong way, you can never make good use of it. So sad. People, innocent people died for nothing. People injured just because they came out to perform their civic rights. Some persons were just out there telling them, go back. You cannot do that. Are we not Nigerians? Is this not our father's land? Do we have different passports? It's a shame and disappointing. Mm -hmm.